Abdul Sattar Qasim, uh, Mr. Sable said that they dropped leaflets on the people of, of Gaza warning them, so it was fine, whatever happened afterwards. Well, actually, uh, the Israelis were killing um, on purpose civilians. I mean, it's not true that Israel targeted some military uh, targets and as an, a side effect, they killed uh, civilians. On the contrary, they were killing civilians on, on purpose. And we have uh, testimonies from uh, Palestinian children who I witnessed the killing of the members of their family, including their young brothers and sisters. So the Israelis actually were using this mass killing and these ma massacres against the civilians so as to put so much pressure on the political and military leaderships in Gaza, so they will just end the war or just surrender or pull out or make uh, certain promises desirable uh, to the Israeli leadership. So the Israelis have been committing actually war crimes. They have been doing so many, th so many illegitimate things. And we know from the history of Israel, actually, they don't abide with the international law and they usually throw the international, uh, the international law behind their backs because they are backed by international powers, particularly from the United States. And we know from the international relations, from history, that uh, law is not actually made to punish the strong nations or the strong people. It's only made to, uh, uh, to punish the weak people. Okay, this let's, is true uh, in the Sorry to interrupt century, you. I just want to bring in one of the points. The sorry to interrupt you. I yes. want to bring in one of the points that Mr. Sable made. He said that uh, Hamas was firing these indiscriminate rockets at southern Israel, which led to Israel conducting uh, this offensive yeah. on Gaza. W would you agree that Hamas's indiscriminate firing of the rockets is, is also, if you want to term it, a war crime? But. Uh, but before we talk about that, we no, should I, talk I about want to talk, I want to talk about that, sir. Israel is Could an occupying country. Because, because that's the reason, you know, that's the reason why Hamas is, uh, uh, is firing those uh, missiles, those rockets, because they are under occupation. They are under siege. Now the Israelis have been killing Palestinian civilians for 40 years or 60 years or even before the creation of Israel. The Zionist movement killed and bid so many massacres against the Palestinians. So the Palestinian organizations say why they kill our civilians. If they do so, we cannot hit them directly on their military posts, so we will try to hit them in general, because we don't have those precise missiles in Gaza that pinpoint the target. So they, those are primitive, missi primitive missiles. They are not sophisticated. They are not American missiles. So they hit the general uh, uh, population centers in Israel. Now, this is completely different from what Israel does. Israel has the sophisticated weapons supplied by the United States. They can pinpoint exactly and precisely the targets. They can do much better than that if they want to fight a clean war. But that's anyhow the behavior of the Israelis. And that was true even in southern Lebanon. They made the massacres, they destroyed the houses in southern Lebanon, and they made so many, so many massacres okay. against the Palestinians. That is an Israeli policy. Kill, pol kill civilians so as to pressure the uh, political and the military, the military leaderships. Robbie Sable, international law also talks about the concept of proportion, proportionality. 1,314 Palestinian deaths to 13 Israeli deaths. That's... A hundred to one. Surely that's a war crime. It's not. But I would like to make a comment, by the way, about these primitive weapons. The uh, Hamas have been firing, indeed, homemade uh, small Qassam rockets. They've also been firing Iranian-made, long-range, heavy missiles equipped with lots and lots of tiny metal balls. These aimed at civilian uh, towns and villages. This was aimed deliberately at killing. The law of proportionality says that you must aim at military targets. Even if uh, casualties, you have, there'll be civilian casualties, you must make an effort to minimize it. In other words, there must be a proportion between the military targets and the civilian casualties. Now, if you look at, the, we've had 22 days of very uh, fierce fighting, including aerial bombardments, at, aimed at hundreds, literally hundreds, 
of uh, Hamas rockets, rocket launching sites, ammunition dumps, manufacturing. The number of civilian casualties is not disproportionate to that what, sort of attack. 1,314 if, if Palestinians decide. killed, over a third children. And you're saying Israel took the greatest care in minimizing civilian deaths? Who are you kidding? I know... Uh, I'm not kidding. I know of no army that has taken greater steps to prevent in, in urban fighting. Now try and look back. You perhaps you look back at history where an army has had to fight an enemy in a in a civilian town in an urban urban fighting, where there's been um, uh, less casualties than Israel inflicted. We did this by unprecedented steps of of warning the civilian population of every single attack. But and they deliberately place their and they place their rockets. I don't think they even deny it next to civilian uh, targets, knowing that there will be civilian casualties. Not caring not only about our civilian casualties, not caring about their own civilian casualties, because this, of course, makes good PR. It's a horrible picture to see children wounded. Well, talking about where, PR, where, if Palestinian or Israeli. Talking about PR, yes, men, you know, uh, there could be a counter argument yes. to say that the only reason those leaflets were dropped was so that. If afterwards, when everybody does a post-mortem of it, and if this does go into an international court, Israel can say, oh, we did all we could, we dropped leaflets before we bombed. We didn't only drop leaflets. We dropped leaflets before we'd bombed. We phoned the people. We phoned the people, told them, leave the houses, we're going to attack the rockets. That no army I know, no army has ever done this before. By the way, we have legal advisers in combat units trying to make sure that the targets won't cause disproportionate civilian attacks. We have, on the other side, an enemy that has deliberately calculated, aimed its thing at civilians, hoping to sort of cause civilian casualties. And there's a deafening silence from the world about this, with sort of understanding, well, you've got to understand them. Frankly, we don't understand them. They're throwing rockets at our towns. I have family in Ashkelon who are, under, who are hiding in shelters. We don't understand they're firing rockets at our civilians. Okay, gentlemen, it's time for a short break. When we come back, we'll talk more about war crimes Israel has been accused of in Gaza and war crimes it's been accused of ever since its creation. Stay with Inside Story.